Yeah, I'm standing 15 feet off the ground. The storm just completely flattened this forest. Can't even see the end of that. Oh, I come back from Alaska and this is what we find. Oh, I've got a lot of work to do. Well, we've been traveling and filming a lot this year, so it's been almost nine months since I've been on this property and the road has absolutely been swallowed up by vegetation. Man, it looks like a tornado touched down here. Oh my goodness. This is where we park the trailer. It looks like there's half a dozen trees right there. I'm gonna have to bust out the chainsaw before I can even park the trailer. All right, well, I put down about nine gallons of weed killer and uh, we're gonna give that a few days and see if it gets rid of the grass or not. All right, let's check out the damage. It's been about a week since I sprayed the herbicide down on the road and you can see there's a stark difference between what I treated and what I didn't treat. But there's still little patches of green which I seem to have missed. So I'm gonna go back and spray again and really focus on the stuff that doesn't look wilted. Well, next thing on my agenda is to take care of all of this. We've got so many trees down on the property. I also got these big old brush piles to deal with and I wanna get rid of those and burn up what I can. That's a pretty good pile of coals I got there. I think I'm gonna start cooking some dinner. Yeah, that pile of coals right there. Big slab of pork shoulder here and I've got it all seasoned and wrapped up in tin foil. I'm gonna bury it in those coals for about two hours. We're gonna have pulled pork sandwiches tonight. While that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up all these logs. pile of firewood got that all cleared up I accomplished just enough today that I feel like I can do this the sun's starting to set so I'm gonna grab the shovel and see if my pork's done I don't know about this coals weren't as hot as I wanted Mmm, it's 
Not bad, but it ain't fall off the bone yet. Oh, that's looking good. Buns there. How's that for perfectly toasted? Sweet Memphis style barbecue sauce, and butter pickles, and we got coleslaw. Man, that doesn't look too bad at all, does it? There we go, got my bed all ready, but I'm gonna go hang out by the fire. It is a beautiful, beautiful night. Oh. Well, good morning, everyone. I think it's time to get a fire going and get some breakfast made. Now I want this fire to turn into a bed of coals as quickly as possible. That's why I got a bunch of those half inch to one inch diameter sticks. Get a good pile of those. Those turn into coals really quick and easy. Alright, I think it's time to get to work. I've got a lot of downed trees I need to clear up and the question is what am I going to do with them? I only need so much firewood. So I think I'm going to build a little bit of a shed here to store all of my stuff so it keeps it out of the weather. Uh, first we need to clean this spot up a little bit. <laughs>
set aside, and I think it's time to start building a shed for my tools. We got a lot done, but I'm starting to get hungry, so I think I'm gonna go and start making some dinner here. It's a good looking soup right there. Oh, alrighty. Oh, that feels good. Time to do the dishes. It is an absolute beautiful night. I'm just gonna sit here by the fire and relax for a little bit. I'm going to bed. Well, it is a beautiful, cold, crisp morning, but it smells like rain. And you can see the clouds overhead and I think we're gonna get rained on today. I better finish this shelter so I can put all of our stuff out of the rain. I don't really wanna waste time making an elaborate breakfast. So we're having cereal with raspberries. I'm trying to keep the logs a consistent length so I'm using this eight foot plank as a measuring stick. <laughs>
nice little shed. I deliberately used really thick logs because I wanted this to be able to withstand a tree falling on it. But now that I've built it, I realize I just made a giant deadfall trap. If this thing falls down, it would kill me. Luckily, it's pretty sturdy, so I don't think it's gonna fall down and I'm not living in it, so it should be okay. All right, now I need to go find a bunch of stakes. Well, I didn't have to wait very long to test it. It's already starting to rain. This thing can get snowed on, rained on, trees can fall on it, and I think it'll still keep my stuff nice and sheltered and safe. Well, this rain is starting to pick up. I think I better get everything cleaned up or it's gonna get soaked. Oh, check it out. All the stuff fit in there really nice with plenty of room. It's nice and waterproof so it won't get wet and stay out of the elements, but it's too open to get mold or mice in there. It'll be nice. I gotta clean out this fire pit because it's turning into a mountain of ash, but one good use for fire ash is to mark footpaths. If you put a bunch of fire ash on soil, it kills the grass and weeds, and then it makes a nice, clear, easy to follow footpath. All right, that looks good enough for now. Look at this. This looks so much better. Oh, we got plenty of firewood. <laughs> Man, I'm sad to see all these trees down. I really like these trees, but now that it's cleared, Makes me think I need to do something with it. I've been talking to Becca, maybe we need to build like a little tiny home or something. I don't know, but that's for another video. I need to pack up and get out of here. I miss my boys and my wife. Well, listen guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, make sure to click subscribe because we put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next Saturday. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. Oh hey, by the way, I found a deer stand on my property. And so I've set up a game camera here and we're gonna see if there's any deer around. I might just do a hunting video this fall.